A Warren mother is facing child abuse charges after leaving her young sister and two children in a car at night in freezing temperatures while she went to the spa. Police say 23-year-old Erica Campbell was inside a private spa at a Warren house for more than an hour, leaving her 11-year-old sister to watch her 3-year-old and 9-month-old children in the car. After about an hour of waiting in the driveway in 32-degree weather, the 11-year-old tried calling her sister and soon afterward police. After an hour, the 11 year old calls her sister and her sister doesn't answer. So she starts getting scared. Uh, she doesn't know where they're at. She doesn't know what happened to her sister. She doesn't know what, where, where her sister even is. Um, so she calls the police. And police got there. They found Campbell inside the home getting her eyebrows done. She now faces one count of child abuse to which she has pleaded not guilty. Not a good health. Why getting your beauty sleep can make a real difference. But first, two new studies on the impact of screen time in little kids and teenagers. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the results that parents, including me, want to see. <laughs> exactly, Kim and Devin. Yeah, so this is a peek inside the brain to see how reading and screen time really impacts your child's development. Take a look. This first scan is from a preschooler who is read too frequently. The red areas show growth in an organized white, mary, white matter area that supports language and literacy development. The second scan is from a child who spends about two hours a day with screens. The blue shows massive underdevelopment in those same areas that are needed to support learning. Researchers also gave cognitive tests to children and they found kids who used screens more than one hour a day had weaker literacy skills and language. Children who frequently read books with their caregivers scored higher on those tests. And along lines of screen time, it may also have an impact on your teen's diet. Researchers found for every hour a teen spent on the device, their risk of exceeding sugar guidelines increased by 32 percent. 